Hi everyone, welcome to Learning is Fun with Miss. In today's lesson, we will learn about subjects and predicates. Subject is the person or thing performing the action. It usually is a noun, pronoun, or noun phrase. And it usually precedes the predicate. A predicate indicates the action performed by the subject. It contains the verb, object, and other elements. It usually comes after the subject. What is a subject? The subject of a sentence is who or what the sentence is about. Another way of looking at it is to ask the question, who or what is doing the action in the sentence? A subject consists of at least one noun or pronoun and any describers. Simple subject. Sometimes a subject has many words that modify or describe it. If you take away all the modifying or describing words, and just keep the main subject, such as the noun or the pronoun, it is called the simple subject. A simple subject is a subject that has just one noun or pronoun as the focus of the sentence. This means that only one noun or pronoun does the action or connects to the verb of the sentence. Simple subject examples. The hungry fox darted across the yard. Here, the complete subject is the hungry fox. There are two more words like the and hungry that modify the main subject, which is the word fox. So, since fox is the main subject, it is also the simple subject. Similarly, the old brown polka dot box was under the table. Here, the complete subject is the old brown polka dot box. While the main subject is just the word box, there are many words like the, old, brown, and polka dot that modify the main subject, which is the word box. So, since box is the main subject, it is also the simple subject. Sentences with compound subjects have two or more subjects. So what are compound subjects again? Yep, you've said it right. Sentences with compound subjects have two or more subjects. Let's look at a few examples. Guitars and violins are stringed instruments. Ali, Lupe, and Paul play the guitar. Guitars and violins is the compound subject. Ali, Lupe, and Paul is the compound subject. What is a compound subject and verb? A compound subject contains two or more subjects that share the same verb. They are connected with coordinating conjunctions like and, or, and nor. A compound verb contains two or more verbs that share the same subject. Using compound subjects and verbs can make your writing less repetitive. For example, the boy walked to school, the girl walked to school. The boy and girl walked to school. We swam Saturday afternoon. We took naps Saturday afternoon. We swam and took naps Saturday afternoon. Pronouns in compound subjects. 
You and I are in charge. Either you or I am right. Neither they nor she is wrong. Neither she nor they are wrong. Informal, you and me can handle this together. Let's look at the compound subject in each sentence below. My little brother and my cousin broke their fingers. His uncle Bob and aunt Betty asked for directions. Those soldiers and agents carried guns. Our babysitter and her friend arrived late. What is a predicate? A predicate is a sentence or clause that modifies a subject. A predicate can either be a verb or a verb phrase plus any other modifier. If a predicate contains only a verb or a verb phrase, it's known as a simple predicate. If it contains either a verb or a verb phrase plus any other modifier, it is known as a complete predicate. To identify a predicate in a sentence is very simple since you only need to find out what the subject does or what the subject is. Let's look at a few predicate examples. John walked faster than James. In this sentence, walked faster than James is the predicate. Joan recited a poem to her classmates. Here, recited a poem to her classmates is the predicate. Simple predicate. A predicate can also have many words. It also has a main part, which is the simple predicate. The simple predicate is the verb or verbs that are connected to the subject. In the example we just looked at, the hungry fox darted across the yard. Here, the simple predicate is just the verb darted instead of darted across the yard. Similarly, in the example, the old brown polka dot box was under the table. The simple predicate is just the verb was instead of was under the table. Two or more simple predicates with the same subject form a compound predicate. And here are a few different examples. Susie tried out and made the team. Cindy tried out but did not make it. Compound predicates. The Greek restaurant has closed but will reopen soon. Every week our band practices together and writes songs. Before supper, I usually set the table and peel the vegetables. Floyd asked for a watch but received a bike instead. We gathered firewood and headed back to camp. Predicate. Let's recap. Predicate is a part of a sentence that contains the verb and further information about the subject. It is a fundamental part in a sentence since it completes the sentence by providing verb, object, and other complements and clauses. And a predicate is essential since it is the part of the sentence that contains the basic information about the subject. And the verb is the main part of the predicate, which describes an action, state, or occurrence. A word that explains the action or state of the subject, thus 
It should agree with the tense of the sentence, the gender, and the number of the subjects, etc. And a verb also acts as the main part of a clause that makes up the predicate of the sentence. So let's recap. Subjects and predicates. A compound subject is made up of two or more simple subjects. A compound predicate is made up of two or more simple predicates. And a compound subject example is my sister and I were born in Japan. And here is an example of a compound predicate. We live and work in the United States. So let's look at a few of examples here and keep your eyes out for the subjects and predicates in the sentences. Amy held a pencil. Johnny wore a hat. He looked happy. The star is blue. He is holding a star. Let's practice. Now it's your turn. Circle the subjects, underline the predicates. Now remember, subjects are what the sentence is about. And predicates give information about the subject or subjects. And number one has been done for you. I enjoy shopping and cooking too. Now in your notebook, circle the subject and underline the predicate. Be sure to pause the video and complete numbers two through six. I will read them for you now. We wanted to buy some different cheeses and needed to get some bread. The butcher helped us pick out some meat as well. The cheeses and the meats are going to be delicious together. My dad and my mom usually buy the ingredients and prepare the meals. My mom and I went to the grocery store to do some shopping. I'll give you a few minutes. Make sure you circle the subject and underline the predicate, and we will go over the answers in a little bit. Let's go over your responses. I enjoy shopping and cooking too. I is the subject. Enjoy shopping and cooking too is the predicate. We wanted to buy some different cheeses and needed to get some bread. We is the subject wanted to buy some different cheeses and needed to get some bread is the predicate. The butcher helped us pick out some meat as well. The butcher is the subject, helped us pick out some meat as well is the predicate. The cheeses and the meats are going to be delicious together. The cheeses and the meats are the subject and are going to be delicious together is the predicate. My dad and my mom usually buy the ingredients and prepare the meals. My dad and my mom are the subjects, usually buy the ingredients and prepare the meals is the predicate. My mom and I went to the grocery store to do some shopping. My mom and I are the subjects, went to the grocery store to do some shopping is the predicate. Were you able to identify some compound subjects? Great job. Keep on looking to see if you can identify some compound predicates too. 
Let's keep on going. In today's lesson, we learned about subjects and predicates. Thank you for watching and learning with me. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.